one more important thing inside the web design is to create responsive layouts. And there are several ways you can create some responsive layouts inside HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. But which one uh, you can use, which one you can prefer, it really depends on a layout, it really depends on a component. So in this video, we will make use of one way of uh, making your website responsive, and that is without a CSS media query. So as you guys can see this browse by category, we will be designing this section and one more section. Let me scroll and align this back like this. I'll go control Z back. Okay, that's good. I will align this first in this section just move a little bit and yeah it looks good so we will design this section and this section but this section best selling product is almost the same as our uh, flash sale section so i will just copy and paste this code it will not take time but this one browse by categories i will explain each and everything we will be making this responsive <clears throat> so with that said let me open the code but before we get started i have exported all the images and the icons and i will push this code on github so and i will provide the link to this project repository and you will get all these images and icons from there <clears throat> and we are almost uh, close to 500 subscribers so if you haven't subscribed please make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you can never miss any video like this okay and i will start by writing the code i will go to the bottom and right after i will close this open the html file and right after this section, we will have another section with the class name of section. And inside that, uh, where this one come from? Okay, not here, but here. So section with the class name of section. And inside that, we need a container. Okay, I'm sorry again. This is... Okay, now it's fine. And inside this section, we need dot container. My videos are boring, but this is just because I explain everything. I don't edit my videos. These are not, not scripted and not edited. Okay. So container and inside that we need uh, this section header. But we have already coded this for a uh, flash cell. So I will copy and paste that from there. So it's almost here. You guys can see section category. Uh, this section category and this section header. So I will copy both. From uh, Not cut but copy and paste it over here inside the container and if i save and have a look so you guys can see we have today in flash cell and what i will do i we don't need that uh, countdown timer remove this and replace the text with the um, categories and browse by category categories and browse by category and this section is almost ready you guys can see what we need is we need uh, uh, okay we don't need these uh, handlers so I will hide them yep 
and uh, let's say we need a row and inside that row we need six columns for each uh, icon so what i will do is i will go ahead and right after this section header i will add dot categories which is our row and inside that we need dot category and we need six of them so static and six hit enter and you guys can see so inside each we need two elements first we need icon and then we need a text so i will write here image uh, we need an image with the class name of uh, category underscore icon and those icons are inside images inside icons and we have a lot of icons so i will go and rename each of them so camera we need a computer and gaming these are not in the same order as we had in our figma but you can write in th that order or whatever is easy for you but this one is easy that's why i'm going with this <clears throat> and the last one is watch and right after each okay so how i can write uh, everything uh, at the same time so i will click over here and click and hold the alt key and click here click here click right after each image tag and hit enter and we need a paragraph with the class name of category underscore name hit enter and now i will uh, add we need cameras the second one is computers and the third one is gaming headphones and this is phones and the last one is watches save and now let's have a look and you guys will see yeah we have uh, an icon and a text after that so first of all uh, what i will do is i will write a nice uh, css grid for this section so i will target the um, parent class which is categories and inside that we have category single uh, singular um, and we need we have six so i will go at the bottom and open this a bit so you guys can see add a comment of categories and target that class i will give this a width of 100 percent display of grid it's it's just two lines and it's so powerful even bootstrap is using uh, this grid system for the responsiveness and grid template columns so how many columns i want i want repeat for each of the child element and i want auto fit in the available uh, width so uh, auto fit and i want the minimum and maximum width for each of that child element is let's go with 10 rem and and if it is bigger than 10 rem then one fractional unit which means that divide 100 percent by six and give each item uh, that much of width and i want grid gap of two rem <clears throat> i will save and now you guys can see these are now side by side and if i inspect and show you guys now uh, what is basically this uh, grid system looks like so from grid overlays we have a division for categories i click this and you guys can see and yep you guys can see everything you guys can see that grid gap and this is now each grid <clears throat> i will show you the responsiveness in a minute but i will copy this category which is these uh, six items and first i want text align to the center save 
and now you guys can see that uh, those uh, icon and uh, text are now in the center and I will decrease a width for this image a bit so width not, not, not the category but I will category icon I will give this a width of 5 frame and height of auto save and now you guys can see this uh, the size is a bit decreased now but let's decrease it more let's go with 3.5 and yes you guys can see and <clears throat> we have a border radius you guys can see so what I will do is I will go here and I, uh, I will add some padding let's go with the uh, 3 rem from all of the sides and I want border of 1 pixels I want the solid and war color will be white 2 let's try this and let's have a look so I will uncheck this and yeah you guys can see that really uh, tiny uh, border for that okay and I think that's good but one thing once we hover over uh, the icon we want the background so I will do dot category and colon hover once we hover over this I want the background color should be war primary save and yeah you guys can see but this is so fast I want uh, the animation uh, transition to be really smooth so what I will do is go to the category transition all mm, 0.3 seconds and ease save and yeah you guys can see this is smooth now and when you hover over this I want the cursor to be changed so I want the cursor pointer and yeah you guys can see that cursor changes and if I show you guys the responsiveness so you guys mm, notice this yeah you guys can see but I will uh, increase the minimum width for this because uh, from uh, here you guys can see it is overflowing so I will go with 14 and yeah you guys can see decrease it more decrease it more and yeah on the smaller screen it will look like this but on the bigger screen it will look like this yeah it's awesome and without a css media query we make this section responsive yes you guys can see and now it's time to style this uh, best selling products but this section has a button over here and we will not implement that we will have a button like this one over here so what i will do is uh, i will copy and paste that uh, exact same section we need to make some changes to that and I will show you how you can do that. So go at the top and swiper, not the swiper but the whole section. So this is our section, copy and paste and you guys will see that section. Yeah, this one. I will change the images. I have downloaded images for these and for this one since this is not a flash cell we will change these and we will remove this uh, tag from each of our cards all right so this is this month this month in best selling products so I'll copy this go at the top again this is a big section uh, replace this title and not the today's but this month save <clears throat> and I will remove that image tag from each of our card since this is a, a lengthy this will take time so what I will do is I will 
wrap these cards mm, not the card actually but the whole uh, swiper slide swiper slide close this close this one I will make changes to only one and copy and paste that again and again so now this one I will copy and paste as many time you want and now you guys can see for these products we don't have that uh, price tag uh, that sell tag but the one thing I will do is to go here I will change the images so I already have those images so this is item hyphen 5 and you guys will see yeah this one I will copy the title as well and the title is somewhere over here paste okay I have changed the title for yeah exactly now go to the second card but with uh, uh, scrolling it will take time so I will wrap this swiper slide this is item 6 and the name of the product is this one uh, now I think the sixth one is different so I will save and let's see which one we have those speakers so I will copy the speaker title and paste this here again I will do this this is uh, image 7 and okay item hyphen 7 item 7 okay we missed spill that so I will rename the image go here images inside items we have item 7 so rename this and item hyphen 7 save and save this is the bag copy this title and paste this you guys can change the prices and everything so it will look more good copy this and this is item 8 item hyphen 8 and replace the title save <clears throat> and yes you guys can see we have this section designed as well so once we finish this home page we will make the animation we will add the animation to this uh, these products and everything and we will make this completely responsive so that was it for this one and see you in the next one